James Webb Telescope is one of the most remarkable and costly scientific achievements of our time. It is also the most advanced space observatory ever built by NASA. This telescope has managed to capture photos of the most impressive nebulae and star clusters in the Milky Way. Thanks to these mesmerizing images, we can see the depths of space in more detail than ever before. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated with the latest information about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space-related developments. So let's take a look at these breathtaking images. Messier 82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy, is famed as the number one starburst galaxy with smoke without fire. We present you the clearest photo of M82 center we've ever seen. Exceptionally bright and relatively close to Earth at about 12 million light years away, it is located in the constellation Ursa Major. This region, filled with newly born stars and burning gases, is known as a galaxy with intense starburst activity. Previous images of the Cigar Galaxy depicted a galaxy bursting at the seams with stars, but this new image shows stars burning behind the gas and dust that nearly become invisible in the background. Located approximately 12 million light years from Earth, this galaxy truly reveals a region of intense starburst activity. Second on the list is the star factory known as the NGC 4214 galaxy. This image, captured by the latest camera on the James Webb Space Telescope, offers a perfect target for studying star birth and evolution. A massive, bright, gas hydrogen gas cloud located in the center of the galaxy dominates much of the galaxy and covers the region where new stars are forming. One of the most striking features of NGC 4214 is a heart-shaped cavity among the young, massive stars. The temperatures of the few stars within this void range from 10,000 to 50,000 degrees Celsius. This bubble has formed due to winds from these stars. Due to the lack of gas, these features may inhibit future star formation. Third on the list is NGC 4656, known as the Hockey Stick Galaxy. Visible in the constellation Canes Venatici, this galaxy features a long, twisted bar structure curving out into space, resembling a cosmic hockey stick. While this naming might not be entirely clear from this partial image showing only the bright central region of the galaxy, the curve extending into space is quite distinct. Fourth is the beautiful image of NGC 4452, a thin galaxy. Appearing as if we are looking at it edge on from Earth, this galaxy offers an incredible view of billions of stars from a new perspective. Its bright central core and extremely thin disk, which looks like a perfect straight line from our viewpoint, are clearly visible. The stellar ring surrounding the galaxy helps complete the picture. NGC 4452 is part of a galactic cluster known as the Virgo Cluster. This cluster contains about 2,000 galaxies, mostly located within the Virgo constellation and is approximately 60 million light years away. Fifth on the list is Leta 36, 252, also known as Kiso 5649, referred to as the Cosmic Tadpole. This small galaxy can be seen in a new image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It belongs to a group of objects known as tadpole galaxies, characterized by a bright head and a long tail. This galaxy is not very far, at approximately 80 million light years away. Tadpole galaxies are unusual in our cosmic neighborhood, but are quite common in the broader regions of the universe. This suggests that many galaxies may pass through this stage in their evolution. Sixth on the list is the Southern Ring Nebula. Webb's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and mid-infrared camera, MIRI, obtain this image of the Southern Ring Nebula, NGC 3132. The sky image is oriented in the north and east direction. 
The compass arrows indicate that when viewed from below, north and east in the sky are reversed relative to the ground level. When viewed from above, the direction arrows and the scale bar are in light years as the light takes one Earth year to travel that distance. The length of the light scale bar is 0.25 light years. One light year is approximately 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. This image spans 0.25 light years. This image demonstrates the use of invisible near and mid infrared wavelengths along with visible light. The color key shows which NIR cam and Myrie filters collected the light. Each filter name represents the infrared light it transmits. Seventh on the list is the James Webb Space Telescope's JWST Deep Survey. The target area of JWST's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Research, JADES, is highlighted in the James Webb Space Telescope images. JADES is located in the north and east using Webb's NIR cam equipment and covers the same area as the Hubble Space Telescope's ultra-deep field. Researchers studied the region in nine different infrared wavelength bands. Scientists use these photos to search for faint galaxies that emit detectable infrared light, but whose spectrum ends at a specific wavelength. They use Webb's NIR spec instrument to reveal the properties of gas and stars in these photos. In other observations not shown here, blue means 1.15 microns, green means 2.0 microns, and red means 4.44 microns to estimate redshifts. Eighth on the list is NGC 6753, which as you can see, is a whirlpool of colors. This galaxy is like a kaleidoscope of color. The blue glows in the spiral arms, represent regions filled with young stars burning brightly in ultraviolet light, while the redder areas are full of older stars emitting cooler light in the near infrared. The process of galaxy formation remains a mystery in the field of astronomy, despite recent advancements. For decades, no hypothesis has fully explained the origins of all the galaxies we see in the universe. This is because galaxies come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, including elliptical, spiral, and irregular forms. Ninth on the list is the birth of the starburst Bonanza star in a nearby dwarf galaxy. NGC 1569 creates massive bubbles and superbubbles that fill the galaxy's main body. The galaxy's energetic star factories produce beautiful blue star clusters. About 25 million years ago, around the time the first humans appeared on Earth, this galaxy began its star birth. Hydrogen gas bubbles scatter light when they collide. The environment in NGC 1569 is still turbulent, as massive stars died 20 to 25 million years ago, driven by hot, young star winds, radiation, and supernova shocks. The supernova not only provides the gaseous raw material for star and star cluster formation, but can also lead to the birth of new stars in rotating vortices. Number 10, a shimmering sky. With the help of NASA and ES's James Webb Space Telescope, we are taking a look at the central region of the Milky Way, home to an incredible number of stars. Our galaxy is largely obscured by dust, but this magnificent telescope captured an image of a treasure trove of stars while gazing at the Sagittarius star cloud. Many of these gems are among the oldest stars in the Milky Way, crucial for astronomers to understand how they evolved in our galaxy. The breathtaking JWST images inspire astronomers' interest in the oldest stars at the galaxy's core. Which photo captures your interest the most and why? If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated, please leave a comment sharing your thoughts. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons for everything related to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope, and the rest of the universe. Stay tuned for our next video. See you soon.